One thing that's really interesting to pay attention to within the fitness industry is females showing their derrieres as a way of self-promotion and showing that they are a fitness girl, garnering tons of attention, sponsorships, and of course, some sort of subscriptions, oftentimes OnlyFans, but sometimes other subscriptions, maybe coaching, hopefully. They took the moral high road, but that often doesn't happen, I'll be completely honest. And what's also very interesting is a lot of these females within the fitness industry will have a very male biased following and not very female biased following and their content slowly goes from useful and helpful to purely erotic and more so just trying to show off that thick old derriere. You know, I don't have a big problem with girls stunting their stuff. I'm sure some guys love it and enjoy it and have it all over their homepage or explore page and that's fine for them. But for me, it seems a little bit suspicious because it seems as if a female can get to really high heights within the fitness industry if she just has a large derriere. Not big muscles, not an impressive workout routine, not any sort of really good experience within the fitness industry, but just a large took us. Now, you may have heard of an influencer called Puck. She posts notoriously, basically exclusively her ass. While I can't necessarily dog on someone for doing that because it does get a lot of money, a lot of views, and a lot of attention, it is interesting to note that this person has a unique progression. You see, there's actually a ton of people on Reddit which pretty much are convinced that she has a BBL, that her butt is not real, it is only plastic. You can see comments for days talking about people having horrible looking BBLs and hers being one of the worst. For instance, this particular picture is pretty damning in terms of evidence. This female right here even comments, Girl, for reference, I do have a BBL and it's bigger than this and it doesn't even look this fake. So does this puck girl have a BBL? Is it a fake butt or a tuchus that she created through plastic surgery or other various surgeries? And it's a really interesting question because she's obviously a very fit personality, but does have a uniquely large set of glutes. So what is generating her glutes? What is getting them so big? What is she doing that's so particularly unique compared to every other female fitness influencer within the space? Well, she actually claims that this is one year of progress, the before and after. And while she's at a different angle in both of these pictures, you can see how dramatic that one year must have been. But what's furthermore even interesting is that she really only has posts on the internet going back to 2022 in October just about two years ago. Anything before that has been completely wiped clean of the internet and you won't be able to find her anywhere. This is the earliest video that she has on TikTok and it doesn't do much justice to show the transformation. It just says that she balked and this was the result. And if we look back to her earliest posts on Instagram, we see a very familiar pattern. In fact, there's actually nothing showing her derriere, which is interesting because that is all she shows now in virtually every single post. The first thing that we have which shows off that took us is this picture. And while it's impressive, it's not as impressive, but I think it's the start of what we are seeing in the later pictures. But that then converting into this is a bit of a unique timeline, a bit of a unique story, a bit interesting. Now here you're gonna see maybe some graphic images. I'm not really sure they're surgical images about BBLs essentially. And this is a plastic surgery institute that does them and shows before and afters. And I think this is important to show because a lot of people expect a BBL to be something that's dramatic and unrealistic. Once you get it, you look like Kim Kardashian with a diaper butt. But what you'll see is in that most of these pictures, the augmentation to the glutes is really not that dramatic. There is a little bit more plump, but everything outside of that has basically remained the same. Nothing super ridiculous is changed. And in fact, for most people, it looks quite natural if you have a good surgeon. So if we can say that a BBL looks quite natural in most individuals, why wouldn't a fitness influencer who may already have well-developed glutes partake in a BBL to then skip the line in the influencer path of fame and get to the top as fast as she possibly could to make a living? And what's also interesting is is when we look at her before and afters, especially when she had actually started quote unquote bulking and training really hard, you don't actually see a big change anywhere else. Not her legs, not her calves, not her arms, not her shoulders, not her back, not her lower back, not her traps, not anything else but her glutes. 
specifically her glutes, which I don't know about you, but if you've ever tried to train glutes, it's virtually impossible to just train glutes. Likely your legs will get bigger, your calves will get bigger, your lower back will obviously become more defined as you do develop that lumbar musculature. And so it leaves me questioning if this person is actually having real glutes or if this is all just a sham. And to that, I would actually say, yes, it is a sham. This girl definitely has either injections in her glutes or a complete BBL package. 100% without a doubt, her glutes have grown exponentially without any leg development, without any calf growth, without any form of development. And it's very obvious that she's hidden a lot of photos before and after the procedure, whatever that procedure may have been. Now, there isn't just BBLs. You can get a lot of other things done. For instance, Sunny Andrews got caught basically red-handed with injecting her glutes with some form of oil. It's really unknown as to what kind, but it was very obvious on stage. She tried to deny it over and over again, even with MRIs. So here is, uh, you know, Sunny's pictures here from the actual prejudging. Okay, right out the gate, some things that you'll notice that are kind of, uh, you know, a little bit crazy is the glute development here. Okay, it's like these glutes, she has pushed this way too far. And that's what I kind of said, you know, Yurishna and Sunny, they're fan favorites. That's, you know, a lot of people love them. They were in the top kind of call out last year um, in pretty much every pose. I could see from when she walked in on the live stream, I was like, okay, she has done something here. Something is going on, uh, you know, as far as what that actually is, you know, that's going to be up to speculation, but you know, very, very lean, very striated in the quads and this glute development just does not match it. At this point even honestly with that it was still very apparent that she was injecting her glutes with something on stage they were sticking out completely abnormal to any form of anatomy that we would be aware of as humans so consider that this woman is at the top of the class wellness in the world she's one of the best competitors which is a class that is primarily judging your glutes and hamstrings if we look at her legs her glutes are massive, huge. She's also been caught injecting them. And she also has an absolutely yoked physique, specifically her legs. You see, it is not just her glutes in unison. That's a cute cat. It is her whole fucking leg and calves included that has grown in great deals of proportion correlating with the glute development. And again, this is also somebody who has very clearly been caught injecting her glutes. The Arnold classic judges even mentioned it live in public. It is very clear that she's augmented them at one point or another in her career, and she's obviously trained for decades to get this. That's a very big and important point. Decades using pharmacology like steroids, and she very clearly mentions this to get this physique. Actually, I think she claims natural, but if you hear her voice, you would tell from two miles away that she's not natural. Hey guys, Dr. Sunny Andrews here, here with my coach, Alex Pomeroy. Today we're going to be doing a light light day, which really just means it's a lot of hit, high volume, pump focused. My heart rate's probably going to be around 170 average. Here is another wellness competitor. Again, one of the top competitors in the world for a division that is specifically judging your glutes and hamstrings. You're telling me that this female in her off season doesn't have as round of glutes as a non competitive influencer who just trains every once in a while. You have to actually be psychotic to believe this. Again, I am not just flowing this out of my asshole and stringing it together through your nostrils. I'm telling you this because these people have been competing for decades, longer than this woman has been in the gym, yet she has bigger glutes. And with those bigger glutes, there is a non-corollary response to the rest of her body. It's virtually done nothing. It has maintained its stagnicity within space. This leads me to believe very clearly that she has augmented her glutes through some sort of intervention, whether that was oil, a true BBL, or some other kind of creams or weird shit. I don't even know what's out there, to be honest, just BBL and oil. Who knows, right? It's it's something, but it's not real. And I can definitely see the incentive to do something like that because, quite frankly, it's going to leverage you a lot of money. A BBL is a couple thousand dollars, but a lifetime career of fame and fitness influencing makes you several hundred thousand dollars. And it's kind of a no-brainer at that point. If you have a pretty look and you're already getting a lot of infamy from a few posts, what's a BBL going to do except benefit your career? As long as it doesn't look like like Kim K's and arguably even then you could justify that hers 
makes her career better. So what's the moral behind my story today? Well, as anybody who has ever been in the fitness industry for long enough could tell you, a lot of what you see is fake. And I would have to completely agree with this. The personalities, the bodies, all of it is in some degree, shape or form completely artificial. And thus, as we scroll through social media, we can begin to inflict jealousy, fear of missing out, incompleteness on our own selves. While we feel those things, I think we forget to understand that the people we're viewing have gone through hell and high water just to get a remnant of fame from the internet. They have manipulated their body using Photoshop, surgeries, and many other performance enhancing drugs to get where they are. And you comparing yourself to them as a form of judgment isn't a very good depiction of what reality is. You see, if you're going to the gym and you have a relatively lean body mass, you're already a one percenter when it relates to most Americans. These people go to the extremes to achieve something that isn't even fathomable or realistic in life. Don't get caught up in the mess. Realize that these people are nothing but a one by one box on Instagram or TikTok that you just simply scroll through for a brief moment of entertainment and they sold their body to do that. And that's about it. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. It does me a massive favor as well. We have a Discord group. It's in the link down below. Massive resources there for you guys if you're interested in fitness and bodybuilding. And as well could probably use some sources for pharmacology this is the place to be i really suggest you check it out and if anything else it just supports this channel it helps me keep making videos and realistically stay on this daily upload schedule but i'll catch you in the next video